In this video, I'm going to test the best scalping strategy on YouTube created by The Moving Average and see if we can actually make some money with it. But before we start, make sure you click that subscribe button because on this channel, we test different trading strategies with the goal to make you a profitable trader. We're going to backtest our strategy 100 times and we're going to record our wins and losses on a Trader Edge app. We're also going to set our initial account size at $100 and we're going to be risking 2% of our account per each trade in order to make 4. We're going to do our backtesting on Euro USD 5 minute chart and for this strategy, we're going to need 3 indicators. For our first indicator, we're going to need three smoothed moving averages. This one right here by Hamid Safi. For our second indicator, we're going to need RSI, Relative Strength Index. And for our third indicator, we're going to need Williams, Fractals. This one right here. Okay, now once we have our indicators on our chart, let's adjust their settings. So first of all, let's double click on these moving averages and change the length from 60 to 21. Our second length is going to be sitting at 50 and we're not going to change the third length. It's going to be sitting at 200. Also, we're going to change the style. So let's actually change some of these colors and make them more visible. Okay, so our moving averages are ready. Let's move on to our RSI indicator. So we're not going to change the inputs, which is going to leave it at 14. But we're going to change the style. So first of all, we're going to get rid of this RSI based MA. We're going to make this RSI line more visible. And we're going to get rid of this RSI upper band and lower band. And the background as well. We can also make this RSI middle band more visible. Okay, the RSI indicator is set up as well. Now let's move on to our Williams fractals. So we're going to leave the inputs at 2, but we're going to change the style. So let's actually change this color to green and this color to red. There we go. Okay, our system is ready. Now let's get into our trading rules. We're going to be using this William Fractals indicator for our entries. And we can see this indicator is giving us a lot of signals. So in order to filter them, we're going to be using these moving averages to identify the direction of the trend and also this RSI indicator to double confirm these signals. We're only going to be looking to buy if the price is sitting above these moving averages. They all pointing in the same direction and they have to be aligned in a way so that the first goes red, this 200 MA. Then it goes this uh, green, which is 50 MA. And then it goes this yellow, 21 MA. As soon as we have these moving averages aligned, we're looking at our Williams fractals indicator for bullish signals. So for a bullish signal, we need to have a green triangle appeared below the price. Once we have that bullish signal, we're looking at our RSI indicator for double confirmation. So this RSI line has to be sitting above the 50 line. And once we have those conditions met, we're going to take a long trade. But first of all, we're going to wait for this candlestick to close because this Williams indicator can be repainting the signal depending on the price movement. So we need to wait for this candlestick to close. And once it does that, we're going to take a long position on the next candlestick, set our stop loss at the very recent uh, lowest price and target two times the risk. There we go. You can see this was a profitable trade. Around 30 minutes later, we had another signal right here. We see all the conditions are met. The price is sitting above the moving averages. They all aligned in a way so that we can enter a long position. And the RSI is sitting above zero. So we're going to take another long position right here. Set our stop loss at the recent uh, lowest price. And set our take profit target. There we go, we have another profitable trade. Opposite rules apply when entering short trades. So we're only going to be looking to sell if the price is sitting below these moving averages and they are aligned in a way. So that first goes red or 200, and then goes this green one or 50, and then it goes this yellow one or 21. And once this happens, we're going to be looking at our Williams indicator for short signals. So an indicator for a short signal would be this red triangle. And we also need to have a double confirmation from our RSI indicator. So this um, RSI line has to be sitting below the 50 line. So we see this is a valid short signal. 
So we would have taken a short position right here on a very next candlestick. So our stop loss, the recent lowest price. And target two times the risk. We can see the price just hit our take profit target. Around 30 minutes later, we had another short signal from our Williams indicator, but this wouldn't be a valid signal because first of all, the price just crossed over this uh, yellow moving average. And we have our RSI indicator sitting above 50. Next trade right here, we have uh, a signal from our Williams. We see the price is sitting below these moving averages, but our RSI indicator is not confirming a signal. We see the line just crossed above this 50 line. So this wouldn't be a valid signal either. The same thing happened right here. We see we had a signal from our Williams to go short. Uh, the price is sitting below the moving averages. They all aligned nicely, but um, we do not have a confirmation from our RSI indicator as this yellow line just um, crossed this 50 line right there, you see. So we wouldn't have entered this trade. We would have waited for next signals. And there we go. Now we have a valid signal. As we can see, the price is below these moving averages. We have a short signal from our Williams indicator and the RSI is sitting below the 50 line. So we would have taken a short trade right here, set our stop loss at the recent uh, highest price and target two times the risk. Okay. I see the price just hit our take profit target. Here is an example where we wouldn't have taken a long trade. So um, we see the price is sitting above these moving averages. We have a long signal from our Williams fractals indicator and the RSI confirming the signal. But we see these moving averages are not aligned properly. So remember, first goes red, then goes green, and then goes yellow. So this wouldn't be a valid signal for us to take a long position. So we see the whole idea behind this system is to actually confirm the direction of the trend first and then capture small bits of it by using this Williams Fractals indicator. Okay, so now we know the rules, let's actually backtest the system and compare it to other systems we've already tested on this channel. Okay, so we finally finished our backtesting and as we can see, this system has shown us some unbelievable results. Our win rate is at 61%, which is really high for such a risk to reward ratio. I found those 100 setups within three weeks and can you imagine we increased our account size by 397.57%. So we went from 100 to almost $500 in just three weeks. This is too good to be true. Okay, so we can see this strategy is currently sitting on a second place in terms of win rates. 61% uh, is really high. And in terms of account growth, I mean, we quadrupled our account in 20 days. Uh, this is definitely a winner so far. But for some reason, I'm feeling uh, skeptical about this strategy because uh, these numbers are unheard of. So we should definitely forward test it with uh, paper money and see how it performs live. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this back testing. If you did, then smash the like button. It really helps with the algorithm. And if you want to see more videos like this, then subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video.